when the dwarves crept up to investigate. The trolls popped them all into sacks. Suddenly, the trolls started arguing. Gandalf imitated their voices and tricked them into a nasty fight. They fought until dawn. When the sun rose, the trolls turned to stone. Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 of this 100% playthrough of The Hobbit. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. This time we're doing level number 3 called Troll Hole. This level is a lot of fun as well. Just like every other level in this game really. So let's just wait for this loading screen here and then we're going to get going right away. Loading screens take forever in this game unfortunately. The trolls must have a cave nearby to hide from the sun. We must look into it. Find the troll cave, Bilbo. Okay, let's start. First, let me talk to some of the characters. Silly time to go pocket picking when we wanted fire and food. So fat, dude. So fat. There's our friends, the troll there, Gandalf all stone. He left our company to look ahead. I asked him what brought him back in time, and he said, "Looking behind." Very wise. Evil creatures live in these hills. Be careful. So this is our first training scroll, Expert Stick Tactics. This new techniques allow you to chain two I stick attacks together. Training scroll. This land is full of lore from the old kingdom of Arnor. They used these scrolls to teach combat tactics to their young warriors. Now the scrolls are scattered all over this desolate land. You will learn new fighting skills when you open them. So like Balan said, we can learn different fighting techniques with these scrolls, become more powerful, and unlock some devastating combos with our weapons, which is nice. And let's try it out here with these wolves. We can chain two attacks together like that, and it definitely helps out. Slap these wolves across the face with a stick. Still get my ass whooped here. Get two health down already. Alright, that's all of them, and there's a chest pack here, so let me grab that. Bunch of silver in there, some health potions. And then let me climb on up. Move ahead. Nice, so my health is completely restored now thanks to those mushrooms. Gonna ignore glowing for now and jump over here. Gotta use my pole jumps to get these goodies over here. Ton of silver. Now finally I can come back up here and I'm going to talk to Gloin, see what he's got to say. That was quite a climb. I have to catch my breath. Any sign of the troll cave? No. Or the key. Key? Long ago, the Witch King's people built strongholds in this land. Wicked creatures like trolls get the keys and use the locked vaults to hide from the sun. Cool, so we just got a new quest to find the key here for the troll cave. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's go explore the troll hole. Don't need that mushroom there. My health is already full. Uh, I'm going to pull jump here. Yeah, it's going to play it safe. There's some traps here. Be careful, man. Look at this. Bam. Bam. Got to be careful with that thing. Nice cave breeze blowing in our face. Uh, this is talking about how I can jump on some ropes and stuff. But we already know that. These little moon looking rock things you can blast them and they'll have some goodies in there so make sure you don't miss them if you're following this as a walkthrough they kind of glow blue so they're not too hard to miss there's a couple of them that if you're not careful and you're not paying attention you'll miss them but i certainly will not be doing that in this playthrough uh you can see this rope is a little bit darker than the other ones so if you stay on it too long it actually falls down so you gotta jump off see it falling down right there you just gone so it regenerates in a little bit of time, but nobody wants to sit there waiting. And there's some gold right there, man. If I had a little pickaxe, maybe I could scratch some gold off that rock. Be rich. Uh, there's a bunch more of those little frog guys here, so let me go beat them up real quick. These guys look so weird. Look at them. They look like little stools. And by stool, I mean the little things you sit on, not the things that come out your ass. But I guess they can look like either, if you get creative with your imagination. 
Uh, let me grab this chest. But there's this hidden one here. Sometimes I used to miss that one as a kid, so... Uh, and then I guess I just have to go up, but there's another little moon rock here, and there's some more back there as well. Over here towards the back, there's some silver in them. And let me grab this mushroom, just to have my health filled up all the way. I guess I didn't have to grab it, because there's some mushrooms up here as well. So that was a bit of a waste of time, really. Another moon rock, bam! And here you don't want to jump too far because there's some giant spikes of doom on the floor. Gotta jump over those. And here we meet a nice little friend. It's an elf. Oh, and she's hurt. Help me. I was injured by three trolls. I barely managed to escape into these caves. My healing draft is in the next chamber. But I'm too weak to get it. Can you bring it to me? Okay, so we have to save Liana the Elf here, and destroy the Guardian's minions to enrage the beast. And once his belly's exposed, he's vulnerable. So it pretty much tells you how to defeat this boss, I guess you can call him. Just gotta smack the little young ones, and then you can smack him in the belly, he falls down. Good stuff. So, just get his little puppies here, and then he gets pissed off at you. Bam, and then you just smack him. Kind of looks like a giant armadillo. No, I missed that completely. Oh, <laughs> just got scratched in the face. And I think this one should do it. There we go. If Bull Roar Took could see me now. Bull Roar Took. If you remember, that's Bilbo's great 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 grandfather or whatever who knocked the Goblin King's head clear off with his club. We were told that by one of the hobbits in the first level. Let me restore some of my health here. There's a silver bag up here. It's kind of dark, so it's easy to miss, I guess. But we got a nice chest here with some courage points. And I just got another health upgrade. Nice. So I'm up to six dots of health now, I think. Let me pick this lock here. Yeah, six dots of health. Ton of silver. And we're doing pretty well here for ourselves. And there are these vine spike things that come out of these whack-a-mole holes. And I find the best way to fight these guys is to just throw stones at them. Because they can kind of wreck you if you jump in there and try to smack them with your walking stick. So I prefer to just throw stones at them. It's a lot safer, a lot more efficient. It only takes one stone to kill them. And you do want to kill everything so you can get all the courage points. Get that 100%. Some hidden courage points in here in this little cave, and this giant wall of green snot running down. Restore the health, and then I guess I'll climb up here. This is um, it's gonna take me towards the healing draft that I actually came in here to get for the elf. She's dying over there, and I'm kind of chilling out, taking my time, exploring. Uh, if this were a real life situation, you obviously want to get the medicine as soon as possible. Full disclaimer there. It's pretty easy, just jump across these things. And here's the healing draft. The healing draft. Oh, I hope I'm not too late to save her. Some moon rocks. Alright, let me go give her this medicine. Thank you, friend. I am Liana of the Wood Elves. Bilbo Baggins of the Shire, at your service. I'm searching for the Troll Cave. Do you know how I can find it? You will need this if you want to find the Troll Cave. But beware, these caverns are filled with the Witch King's traps. Alright, so she gives us the Witch King Crystal, and that allows us to progress forward in this cave. I'll be using that pretty soon here. Just gotta make sure I didn't miss any of the collectibles anywhere. I don't think I did. So let me forge ahead. 
Uh, there's a couple silver pennies here in this moon rock. Uh, here's this thing. I can put the Witch King crystal right up in there to activate this platform. And before continuing onwards, there is this part down here with some more collectibles. So let me grab all this stuff real quick. Smack this armadillo. Bam. Look at all that silver. Love it. Alright, I can finally forge your head. Uh, yeah, I gotta fight some things here, so let me smack this guy around. Uh, there's this moon rock here. That one kind of hides a little bit, so be careful not to miss that. Smack these. Uh, let me go up first. No, let me go. Let me go over here. I think this one is a dead end, so let me jump over these straps. There's a couple of guys here for me to kill, and then another chest. Ugh. Dude, I'm doing so bad with these chests. I gotta work on it. Some courage points hidden in here as well. Oh, I just like circled around that last little red one. Alright, so now I'm gonna go on upwards. See what else I can find in this cave. The stones are full. Uh, grab this courage point right here. Now watch this. This is a fun way to kill these guys. You just kind of chill here and bam. Watch them kill themselves. Pretty entertaining. I mean, look at this idiot. Bam. He just saw his little friend get killed, but he went for it anyways. I guess he thought he was fast enough, but... Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, there's nothing back there. Let me continue. Another one of these guys. I hate when they, like, shrivel down. Even when they're blocking, you still damage them a little bit if you continue to smack them. So before I head outside the cave, I'm going to come down here. We're actually at the top of that green slimy snot wall that we passed earlier. But there are some secrets here in the little corner. I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, and then if you slide down the snot wall, bam, there's a chest here as well. Hopefully I can do a better job picking this one. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And then let me just climb back up. This wall kind of reminds me of Nickelodeon. All the green ooze from when I was a kid watching those shows. Always wanted to get slimed on that Slime Time Live. Alright, so finally we can make our way out of the caves after I smack this guy out. Bam. Again. Nice view out here. It's gonna be a good time for me to do the riddle of the video. So, Lord of the Rings trivia, last time the question was, which cast member from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies oh, kind of got in a fight with cakes. Peter Jackson over the overuse of green screen and CGI technology? The answer to that riddle is none other than Ian McKellen, who plays Gandalf. There was a scene where he was um, talking with some of the dwarves in Bilbo's Hobbit hole. But he was actually just talking to a green screen the whole time, and the, the other actors weren't even there. He kind of lashed out a little bit. So, there you go. Fun fact. For this episode's uh, riddle, let's go with an easy one this time. Most of you should know this. Who was originally supposed to direct the Hobbit movies? It was not Peter Jackson. Who was it? So, if you know the answer to that riddle and you're watching these videos as they are released, you can answer it on my website and catch me on the next video where I'll reveal the answer to that one. So we just caught a glimpse of the key. I'm gonna be working my way around this place to try and grab it so I can open the troll cave. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Yeah, let me go on, continue ahead. There's some tricky jumps here in this part. It would be very wise to save. Don't do what I'm doing and not save. That's just gonna give you a headache. But hopefully I won't die here. Hopefully I'm doing well on my saves. I'm just going to be patient and kind of line up my 
jumps. Oh my god, and like taking forever to line them up. And I missed that rope, but that's alright, I got a backup here. Uh I'm just gonna have to be like super careful so I don't die. You will find yourself dying a lot to the jumps in this game as opposed to actually getting killed by enemies. The jumps are trickier. There's a secret little courage point down here if you extend the vine all the way down. And if you guys play a lot of video games, you should know by now that every time you see a waterfall in a game that you can explore around, you want to go inside of it because there are always secrets inside waterfalls. And that's exactly what's going to be going on right here. Going to be going into that waterfall. There's going to be some goodies for me to collect in there. Nice. So, new enemy here. This nasty little spider. I'm just going to throw stones at it so I don't get hurt because I'm kind of down on my health. I only have two points. Smack some of these rocks to see if they have any goodies in it. And here's our first golden chest. These usually contain more valuable items or a lot more silver, things like that. So definitely worth your time to uh, pick these locks. Seems to be doing a good job here. Nice. Here's another scroll. Expert throwing tactics. You have learned a new rock throwing technique. Your stone attacks now do more damage than before. Nice. So more damage for our stone throws. Does not hurt at all. I think I got everything in there, so let me head out. I got everything there is to get here, so let me forge ahead to the next area. Uh, let me see how I'm going to do this. Over there, I guess. I'm going to try to pole jump this thing. Hopefully it'll work. There we go. And then let me pole jump all the way to the other side. Cool. Let me come up here. And across that web is where we killed that spider earlier. Golly, dude. I need to work on these chests. I'm a terrible lock picker. So I got a nice bundle of mushrooms here. Uh, or, I thought that was a. Never mind. But I got three mushrooms here that's gonna restore my health. God, I hate when they block like that, man. Damn, oh, God, man. It's like circling me and wrecking me right now. Some more Nickelodeon slime here. I'm going to be jumping through these platforms. And I just failed at that. Okay, let's try again. Oh my god, dude. Alright, third time's a charm. Here we go. Oh, lord. Oh, that's a joke. Okay, I'm gonna be more careful. Here we go. Bam. Alright, finally. Golly. Doing terrible at this game. Oh, these little imp things, they're pretty fun to kill. They only take one hit, but they're kind of like hit and run you, so they can be kind of frustrating. See, like, they hit you and then you try to smack them back, but they're already gone. There we go, taught them a lesson. And I should be pretty cl uh, close to the key here. You just grab some of the collectibles here. There's the key right above me, and just need to find a way to get up there. Uh, there's a chest right here, so let me do this one. Oh, and that's the first fail chest. And you can see I took some damage there by hitting the red thing. So, yep. Uh, Alright, let me go ahead and put the crystal here, the Witch King crystal. And these platforms start moving now. So, let me try to f make my way over to that pillar with the key. Because that's what I need. Just trying to be careful here so I don't fall down. Because some of these jumps can be tricky. Alright, 
just trying to be patient. Oh, I feel like I almost missed that. That would have been terrible. Before I get the key, let me grab these gems here, these collectibles. Alright, I'm just being really careful, lining up my jumps before I execute them. See, I probably could have gone right there, but better safe than sorry, honestly. And I could have gone there again, but I'm just getting kind of nervous here, dude. Alright. Gotta quit being a wussy. I just gotta do this, man. Let's go. There we go. Last one here. Alright, so now I can grab this key. Nice. The key! Then there are those courage points right there, so let me grab those. Let me line this up real quick. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Now I gotta redo all that. Sorry guys. Maybe I should have saved my uh, riddle time for right here when I failed. And you have to watch me redo all this. I'm gonna not play as safe this time. I'm just gonna jump. There we go. So you don't have to watch me line up my every single jump. Alright, let me line this up better. There we go. Alright, got it. So I should be good to go. Let me continue ahead. Now I can just uh, jump on this vine. It fell down from before. Let me grab this mushroom first. Make sure my health is full. I might actually be getting another health upgrade because my courage meter is almost full. So probably doesn't matter too much, honestly. Uh, yeah, they're not missing anything here. Bunch of silver. Alright, let me pull jump this thing. I don't think you can reach that with a regular jump. Alright. And here's the troll cave. We've made it to the end. But there are two wolves guarding it. I'm trying to smack him silly here. Come on, dude. Come at me. God, that one just like bit me in the forearm. There we go. Yeah, my health upgraded. I got the courage meter. Uh, nothing else over here. I think just that chest. So let me open this thing. Nice. And finally, let me go ahead and open the troll cave with a key. What a beautiful blade with elvish runes. Barely a pocket knife for a troll, but perfect for a hobbit. But you'll need a name. I know. I will give you a name, and I shall call you Sting. Cool. So we finally got Sting the sword. That's not exactly how it got its name in the books but we'll take it for the game a little bit of variation here or there and i got all my collectibles over here delightful cool let me see what else i can buy here i'm gonna buy this stone bag upgrade and uh fill up my stones so thank you guys for watching be sure to subscribe uh hope you're enjoying the series and catch you next time for the next video let me just buy some health potions here as well Alrighty, see you guys